Okay, so first of all, just to check that it doesn't work at the moment. So if you go into iPlayer and try to watch something, so it'll come up in a second. So there's no VPN turned on at the moment. So if I try and watch something uh, like Hard Sun in iPlayer, so if I click play as normal, then it'll very quickly give the uh, not available error message. So if we come out of iPlayer and we'll start the process of installing OpenVPN for Android. So first of all, go into the Play Store, just the icon down at the bottom there. And you need to search for OpenVPN and just type that in. So there's a few different um, hits. It's not the first result. It's actually this one with the sort of portcullis type icon. So it's open VPN for Android that you want. So just like with any other app, you just need to click into it and then hit install and then wait for a little while whilst it installs. I'll fast forward just to save this bit. So once it's installed, open it up and you can see there's no VPN profiles defined. So you're going to click on the little plus there and then type in a name for the profile. It doesn't really matter what name you give it um, because of the open VPN server that you're connecting to in the UK. I'm going to call it uh, GB Server VPN. It's just the name of the, uh, the company. But like I say, this doesn't really matter. It could be anything. So at the point that you've done that, then you're going to hit import. And the, um, the application is going to ask where you're going to import these various configuration files from. So you can see on the left hand side there, because the Minix box that I'm using has got uh, two different Google profiles on it, I'm going to click on the MCARTA Cloud one and then drill down into the folders, as I've shown there until we get to the uh, client.ovpn file. Click on that and then you'll see there's these three things, the CA certificate, the client certificate and the client configuration key and uh, it can't find those files. So you have to go back in uh, on each one of them, hit select and then find the file which corresponds to the name that's given there. So the last one there, client key. So just click on those. And once you've done that, it should all go in OK. Hit the Save button and you'll see there the profile's been added and the profile name is, is Client. You could change that, but there's no real need to. It's just um, a default name. So that's actually ready to use now. But to make it a bit easier to turn the VPN on, what we'll do is add a widget to the home screen, which when clicked will automatically uh, open OpenVPN and connect to that particular connection. So you go into widgets and you scroll across until you get to the OpenVPN shortcut and then drop that somewhere onto the uh, desktop and click client, which is the profile that you want it to launch. Uh, we don't really need this other OpenVPN uh, link on the desktop, so I'll get rid of it to save any confusion. So now all you need to do is click on client. Uh, the first time you run it, you'll need to say that you trust the application. And then if you look on the bottom left, it'll very quickly just go through the process of connecting. And there you go, it's connected. So now you would be routing all of your traffic through that UK based server. And if you try iPlayer again, try and play the same thing that we played at the beginning of the video. And there we go, it works. So that's how to set up your VPN.